I promise you, your man gonna be like, girl, like, you ain't taste like that before. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is uh, Aaliyah. This is a channel where we only accept positive vibes only. And if you're a returning babe, then hey girl, hey, how you been? What's up? What it do? And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, just go ahead and subscribe because my channel is a whole vibe. The girls and gents that's already subscribed to me, they're a whole vibe. Like, just come on in and enjoy the vibe and be a vibe. Period. So today, y'all, we're gonna be talking about how to stay fresh and desirable down there, how to taste good down there because you want to taste good, of course. What woman don't want to taste good for their significant other or just in general? Because you're a girl, like you need to be on top of your hygiene. So your girl is here to, you know, go ahead and get some tips out there to y'all. So go ahead and thumbs up this video and let's get straight into the first tip. So you guys, tip number one is kind of very simple. Drink your water. When I say drink your water, I mean you need to be drinking at least six bottles. Well, I ain't gonna say six bottles of water, but at least four bottles of water a day, especially if you're not a water drinker because word on the street is some of y'all don't like drinking y'all water. <laughs> like to be flourishing, your skin is gonna be flourishing, your hair is gonna be growing, baby girl. Everything is just gonna be popping you got to make sure you're drinking your water you need to be taking care of yourself of course on the outside but definitely on the inside because the inside is definitely is gonna you know everything's gonna appear out it's gonna flush all that and negative toxins and you know bad bacteria out your body so first things first y'all you need to be on your water if you're not really a water drinker and you want to gradually move yourself into drinking water, one thing that kind of helped me out was actually, I drink cold water, so I can't do the room temperature water. That's just not me. Some girls like room temperature. I can't do that. Like, no. But what helped me start gradually drinking water is I kept a pretty water bottle. And I mean pretty because I just kind of felt like, I don't know, like it was kind of motivated to pick up my pretty cup and just drink it. So, and then they also have pretty water bottles with like the times on them, like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Every hour you take, you drink, you know, that to the next mark. And that was a huge, like, help for me. So now I'm just a water drinker. I don't really take my water bottle everywhere, but like, I still have my water bottle. Cause sometimes I can't fall off, but I will still drink my water. Just as not as much as I need to be drinking. So definitely get your water bottle there on Amazon and everything. I might have a link below. Um, to where you can get these water bottles if you're not a water drinker and you want to start one. So step number two is to make sure you guys are taking your vitamins. Like that's on top of drinking water, you need to be taking your vitamins because like I said, the water is going to help you flush out those bad bacteria, those toxins and everything that no, don't need to be there. And these vitamins is nothing but good stuff. Like you're replacing all that bad stuff with the good stuff. You're making more good than bad. And these vitamins that I get is probiotics the oily the ollie brand whatever it's called and i get these right out of cvs and i'm not really sure if walmart anything sell them but again i will link these in the description box because y'all definitely need this it is one billion live cultures and for my girls that gets like yeast infections um utis and bacterial vaginosis known as bv you definitely need these i have a sensitive mama down there and i need to be y'all need to be treating her like the queen like i treat my girl down there like the best thing that has ever happened to me so fun fact when i was younger i could not drink like gatorades um use any body wash of that sort um a lot of things would just automatically give me yeast infections and after i got older the yeast effect i kind of grew out of the yeast infection but now i get um bv a lot and that's because i wasn't like taking my vitamins or anything and the doctor was suggesting like you know are you on probi probiotics prebiotics and i was just like no you know so i'm looking into it and i'm like you know what like i definitely need to get into that so once i started taking these y'all everything changed i don't even get them i can only probably say i probably maybe get it once a year these saved my life and i want to jump into the next thing y'all need this right here 
It's called raw kombucha, kombucha, whatever, but it's a probiotic drink. And they sell these Walmart, Food Lion, Bilo, like whatever grocery store you have. If you look in like the organic section, they have this, it's a little nasty. They have different flavors. And this one has 9 billion living probiotics. Like these two combined together, I do not have any issues with anything i just bought one of these and i would probably drink this like it probably take me two days to drink this because it's so nasty and but like i said they had different flavors it just tastes like vinegar low-key but you need this the next thing i have when i did get bv y'all probably seen these around probably so much around social media but honestly this is so good this was my last resort and i promise you i'm so glad I'm so glad I looked into it. And it's the Boric Acid, the Nutriblast brand. It's like a um, suppository and it supports pH balance, supports vaginal health. Um, it has 600 milligrams of boric acid and it's all natural. Uh, it's a suppository so it comes with like one of those little push things. Um, you're going to insert one in you every 12 hours or preferably at bedtime. But this instantly works. The smell completely go away. And this is how it looks. Just a little suppository. I feel like a simple routine is all you need to keep your girl down there very satisfied, pleased, and happy. If you're taking your vitamins, your probiotics, prebiotics, and drinking that drink, I promise you, like, if you don't want to drink the drink, just taking the vitamins is fine. But I promise you, your man gonna be like, girl, like, you ain't taste like that before. So let's jump into the third tip. For this third tip, most girls already know this, but you need to be wiping front to back. When I say front to back, I'm not gonna front to back. If you're wiping back to front, go ahead and switch up your whole routine. Um, if you're a girl that is actually doing the back to front, you're probably noticing like you're getting a lot of UTIs or yeast infection and stuff like that. That is because you're putting all that nasty stuff because you know, uh, you know, back they can get real nasty. <laughs> Y'all, that can get nasty too. You put all of that inside of you, so you're causing a problem already. Don't do that. After boo-boo and stuff, so you don't want to take that to your front. You you just so for my fourth tip, I really want y'all to know this charge is normal. Like from the time you're a baby, because even as babies, we have discharge. You're gonna always have discharge. It's very normal. Now it gets unnormal when it starts to smell. Yeah, when it's starting to stinky. It's a problem. It's your body letting you know it's a problem. Of course, vaginas have like a natural scent, but you and only you know your natural scent. When your pH balance is not balanced and it's falling off, your body is letting you know. Tip number four or five. I'm not really sure where we're at now. <laughs> Y'all, everything do not go down there. And I really completely truly want you guys to understand this everything do not go down there i don't know about y'all but i mean like my mother will tell me stuff here and there that you know little little tips here and there but you never have like i didn't have that sit down to say hey you don't do this you don't do that and i feel like youtube this is our space to talk about this like this is a platform where we can talk about this there are products that says sensitive skin or you know is aimed completely down there i use this honey pot brand i don't use it now because i see that they switched up the whole formula and everything and i you know honestly truly you really don't need it but this is what i use i use this to kind of like on my periods the you know when it's time of that month this is kind of just to freshen me up like right before i go to bed or if i just came out from the sun because you know it's summertime right now so you know, you may need a little freshen up here and there. This is the Sensitive Foaming Wash. It's plant-based. And it also just says, you know, to just refresh. Next tip that I have, it kind of goes along with what I just said. Like, you know, everything don't belong on there. But you definitely need to keep baby down there groomed. So that is my next tip. Keep her up kept. I'm not saying you need to go get a wax every week, every month, or you need to shave. No. It's like under your arms. Hair keeps moisture down there you could just walk outside and start getting sweat you might be like you know oh 
Ooh, I'm a little musky down there. Hair contains that nasty, you know, musky smell and stuff like that. So I'm just saying to keep her growing. If you are one of the girls that prefer more on the hairier side, then definitely just kind of keep watching her. Maybe you might need to refresh maybe twice a day or instead of once a day, you know, something like that. Just put all of your time and energy down there and the back too people forget about the back for some reason i'm not sure why now me personally um i would go get sugar maybe i honestly do it maybe once every two months because it hurts and i ain't trying to feel that pain every month so in between i may take a razor and i'm going to show you guys what i use one minute so what i use is this intuition razor Y'all, when I say with the blades and stuff, it like, you don't even feel yourself shaving. It comes with like this little thing on top of it and it's like a shea butter type oil thing. It helps prevent ingrown hairs and stuff like that. Another thing I would recommend is Nair. It's, it's a shaving process, but you don't have to use like a razor or anything like that. You kind of put it on, let it sit for a couple of minutes and it's just gonna when you wipe it's just gonna fall off and that's actually perfect for my younger girls um maybe like you know middle school high school where you're just not getting into that type of time that is definitely for you so for my next tip i would recommend wearing cotton panties y'all y'all do not need to be walking around wearing lingerie every day the silk and stuff is pretty but we don't need to wear it every day very breathable your girl down there needs to breathe i honestly go to sleep naked some days like i don't even want to wear panties because it's giving that girl time to breathe so i personally don't wear panties to bed majority of the times but when i do Better believe it, girl, it's cotton. So my next tip is to eat more fruits and natural yogurt. My OBGYN even said that you can insert natural yogurt. I think it kills that bad bacteria and it has a natural um, probiotic and stuff like that in it. Not me personally, I'm more of an apple, grape, strawberry type of girl, but you need to get like your natural sugars, not artificial sugar. The next thing I wanna talk about is like body washes and everything. Now me personally, I use Dove. I have the gentle exfoliate and when you're exfoliating you definitely want to be gentle I understand girls want to smell like strawberries and roses and flowers and stuff down there but no we have a natural scent to us any product we're gonna use we're not gonna smell like that and that goes to like the wet wipes and stuff like that honestly only wet wipes that I ever used was baby wipes because I'm like you know for baby use that means it's must be gentle so and that kind of goes in hand in hand with freshen up like when i use the honey pot brand um i don't use it all the time but maybe if you like you want to keep like a little you know a little wipe here and there for when you out places or you know you're gonna be ripping and running all day so with like exfoliating as well i use the tree hut brand and they have like many different flavors but i don't use that down there you need like a sensitive soap to go down there to help you freshen up and stuff like that but all this exfoliating and stuff yes you need to exfoliate your skin but no you don't need to use exfoliation down there that is the quickest way to give you like a yeast infection bv or just a uti in general. another thing that i recommend is like using oils after you like shaving everything or just on your skin in general because i feel like it's way better than lotion like you want to be soft you know soft and feminine and everything like that oil is the way to go it's very hydrating and it lasts all day but if you're feeling good you're gonna want to look good and all of that just gonna you know boost like your confidence in your mental health and everything for my girls that have mental health and they're just like kind of down they don't want to get up and everything start with hygiene just go to target walmart get these things and watch how better you feel if you keep a routine of doing it um, you're going to get in your zone to get up and want to look good. Also, we don't need to be shaming girls. Like, we use different brands, but just because somebody don't use the same thing you use, they're not nasty. They're just, you know, they're not just using the same brand that you're using. But we don't need to shame. What we need to start doing is just educating. So if you see a girl that's, you know, need help, help her out. Give her some, you know, some tips and stuff. Another tip I want to give out is don't use tampons all the time and only reason i say this is because i use tampons for my whole period one month and when i say the uti was real the uti was real so what i started doing i maybe use 
I'll use the tampons on the last days when my flow is like very light, but on the, you know, first couple of three days where it's, my flow is really heavy, I will use pads. So kind of alternate in between. All right, girl, so those were my tips on how to stay clean down there, you know, delicious and everything, and how to be soft. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs up, click the subscribe button. Like I said, this channel is a vibe. We're a whole vibe, so come on in and be a vibe. Just join on in, girl. See you in my next video.